Hey everyone, this is Elaine at Larkin Lane Creations. I bet you're wondering what all these envelopes are in front of me. Well, first of all, this is how I store the journals that I'm working on. Because what I do is I put my journal book in here, and then anything that I should want to add to that journal, I put in here. I can zip it up and I can take it on the go or grab it to work on it. So this is very good for me. It keeps me organized. It keeps things together. So I'm going to show you today the unfinished journals that I have. That's part of my 2019 goals for the um, collaborative that Cool Cakes and Crafts with Amalia that I joined. So I'm just going to do a quick go through so you can keep me honest this year and keep me on track as well as hopefully I can do myself. This first journal I have been working on for a long time. You can see I put wax paper between my pages. I don't mind my pages being messy, but I don't like another page making another page messy, if you get what I mean. So this journal is quotes. It is me painting and stenciling and then having a quote on one side. Um, some meaningful quotes, I'd have to say, um, through time. And I've had fun with it. I'm pretty close to getting this one finished. I believe that I have all of my pages at least painted. I just need to find some more quotes and do some stenciling. And this one I'll be able to knock out, I think, pretty soon. Now this next journal that I have is another small one. This is one that I started when I went on the art retreat with Stencil Girl that was up in uh, Paducah, Kentucky at um, Paducah Ephemera. And there were 50 of us there that had joined. And everything in this journal I'm trying to do with just Stencil Girl stencils. I have a lot. I belong to their club. And I guess I'm more than halfway through this one. So I ought to be able to knock this one out too. But again, keeping it organized. Now this one, as you know, I like to upcycle, maybe recycle. This is out of packing paper. Now this one I saw Cat Han had on her YouTube channel, but she was using brown, um, you know, packing paper. I'm using white, and I've just started it. I've just got some pages, you know, with basic paint and a little bit of stuff on them. Not very far in this one, but I do have other ones that I've put together in signatures that I can make you know, more of a, a whole journal out of it. But right now, that's the only place I've started on that one. Now this one is, I guess what we'd call just a junk journal. I just have all kinds of weird stuff in it. Like that's wallpaper, you know, tissue paper, glitter, just stuff. This one, you know, yeah, I still have a little ways to go. This was just an old book. Now on the outside of this is some of my upcycling as well. You know when you get a wallpaper book and in between it has these pages that give you an idea of how to use that wallpaper? Well that's what this is on the fr front of the book. And I thought they were so cute. And they matched perfectly with the spine of this book. So this one, I ought to be able to meet that challenge as well, I hope. Now, this one, vinyl flooring is my covers. Um, I have it bound together. I've got different kind of papers and stuff in it. It's probably going to be a while for me on this one because I'm trying to stick with kind of basically browns and tans and things that I find in that kind of tone. Um, in my bag on this one, of course, I have the little rings that I'm going to use. I have a nice tile that I thought somehow I am going to adhere to the front of this some kind of way. And then, you know, some other ribbon and coins and things that I'm going to put in that. So that's one place where this envelope comes in really handy because in this one, I have a lot of loose pieces and odds and ends. This one now, I did do a YouTube video on getting this started. Um, I haven't gotten any farther from when I showed it to you. But this is a recycle, upcycle. This was a catalog that I got at work. And I pretty much have all the pages covered. I have done a little bit of stamping and embossing in it. 
um, I'm going on a retreat in February, toward the end of February, and this is what I'm going to do. So I will be putting more things inside of this envelope that I will be using in this journal. And so those are the projects that I definitely need to get finished for 2019 to reach that goal of finishing what I've started. But I wanted to also show you this little doodad. Can't, don't know if you can tell, but this is a crab. One of the ladies at work attached this to my Christmas present. We had to laugh. Her mama came to visit her and her and her mama and her son had a craft day. This is brown paper bag with glue and then it's burnt. But it is so elasticy and cool. I just wanted to share with you. Um, people like showing me what they do because I am Mrs. MacGyver, as they say, and I do all kinds of things with a little bit of nothing. So brown paper sack and glue. But anyway, thanks for stopping by. Um, come back, keep an eye on me what I'm doing, and please subscribe, tell your friends, give me a thumbs up, but mainly come back. Bye.